Okay, welcome to my channel. Uh, yo. So today I'll be showing you a uh, work from a director named Marcus Walter. Another amazing director who uses um, a lot of uh, VFX in his works. And again, for those of you who are familiar to this channel, you know that um, yeah, I, I, I just love the use of not only beautiful imagery, um, but blended with amazing visual effects. A big fan of uh, photo reel CGI, <clears throat> which uh, which is quite hard or quite rare, let's say, in the commercial world, mainly just mainly due to two factors, I'd say, and that's due to budget and timing. I'm not sure how it is like back in the US and in Europe, because I assume they they have on top of that, they have very high schooled artists and so forth. But um, I feel that especially here in Asia, uh, yeah, we just don't have that luxury, I guess, uh, where we can, um, where we do have the time or the budget to to have these amazing photo real kind of visual effects. But um, hopefully, the the landscape is changing. Um, I mean, I do see um, ads these days really trying to push the boundaries, and um, especially with the industry as it is today is uh, you can say you know like budgets are less things are being pushed out um, at a rapid pace um, and also of course due to social media you got a lot of other platforms like YouTube and TikTok and stuff which is kind of um, changing yeah the whole landscape of our industry um, good or bad um, yeah, still, I, I'm being optimistic about our industry just because I still see some really great work that's coming out there. Yeah, not to get to dive in so deeply about um, our industry. But suffice to say, uh, for those of you who are new to this channel, um, yeah, welcome and uh, just to let you know what this channel is about for the for those of you who are new basically this channel is uh, a channel where I showcase really amazing TV commercials yeah I know you probably think TV commercials but yeah there are some really amazing cinematic TV commercials out there yeah you'll be pretty surprised I mean you would see <clears throat> I mean, rare, but at times you will see some commercials that are, you know, it's almost like watching a film contained in these 30 second or, um, or a minute long videos. Um, about myself, I am a commercial film director, so I mainly direct TV commercials. Um, I would lo love to explore um, directing music videos one day. Um, you know, just uh, waiting for an opportunity. But uh, for those of you who are in the know, yeah, I'm um, I'm open. Let me know and let's talk. I love to do music video, um, mainly just because I think with music videos, there's a, there's a bit more creative freedom when it comes to, especially with creating nice visuals and uh, and in terms of storytelling, you got. Um, a lot longer, I guess. Um, I mean, you're not you're not restricted to doing everything within 30 seconds. Um, you got a good. What are songs these days? They go for like three to four minutes. So, other than that, uh, what I've been up to these days, um, uh, I've. I just worked on a pretty big project in Malaysia. I it was a five day shoot, all green screen. It can be a bit jarring just because you just don't know how the end result's gonna be. Uh, it's yeah, when you're working with green screen and yeah, 
we'll have to we'll, we'll see what happens um, i'm keeping a close eye on the post-production but they're given at least a good two months to work on it so uh other than that what else um oh i yeah i've got another brief so it looks like looks like this weekend another weekend of writing up treatments so uh for those of you who are interested in filmmaking and want to know about the commercial world yeah um being a director i think a lot of the time spent is writing up treatments waiting and writing up treatments basically a treatment is basically like a proposal uh to kind of uh interpret your vision you're, you're given like a main outline from the agency usually and from that from that from that outline you basically create your own take on on that premise let's say and uh yeah i think the hardest part of writing a treatment is finding the right visual references sure you can um kind of explain it in words but uh but we're in an industry that deals with images and videos so it's always better to um to back it up with visuals uh you got to also understand that the people who will be looking at your treatment will be i mean they're gonna be receiving a ton of treatments and yeah it's you re, uh, you need to be able to grab their attention and it's going to be the visuals that grab their attention and yeah if you have the right references and if you're able to explain clearly your vision then yeah i mean the chances are high for you to win the job um but i'll i'll definitely get more into uh treatments treatment writing and such in future episodes um but yeah let me know um in the comments below i would love to answer your questions about treatment writing uh what's involved what has um what has got me successful in winning jobs um but yeah sometimes it's it's really you just don't know so sometimes you think you've got it and and you know and another director ends up winning it um but yeah you just keep trying and um i guess i don't know i'd say my treatments have gotten a lot better uh over time um i'd say if i compare my treatments from four years ago to now yeah a lot has changed i think i've i think i've learned a lot over the years and i think i've gotten a lot better and more proficient but still to this day the hardest part is finding the right the right references um sometimes you know you have you you read the brief and then and then you're like oh i've i know the perfect reference for this i remember seeing that ad but what was the ad called or what was it what was it advertising and yeah that's when um you just have to go through a ton of commercials or movies or just yeah your library of links that you may have saved looking for that one particular reference which you feel was the right was the right fit but yeah because yeah briefs are always different they always have new ideas and um and yeah sometimes you're just not ready for it and all of a sudden you're shortlisted you have to write a treatment they're giving you a few days to put it together and you're just like okay um and then you just start searching yeah so with marcus walter i i discovered him again this was through looking through um searching for a ton of uh, references and i came by his work i think it was uh when i was looking through the mill website so the mill is a post production house they do yeah some crazy cgi you know cool visual effects i believe now they are they're bought by npc which is uh they're the guys who did lion king and stuff uh so i was checking out stuff from the mill when i was uh looking for references and uh for those of you who are familiar to my channel uh, i love video game spots 
Yeah. So when I say spots, I mean like TV commercials. Um, so I love video game spots because yeah, there's always some really there's live action um, with really cool visual effects like photo real effects, and there's, there's always some little action set piece that that they showcase. It, it's it's kind of like for me. Um, Video game commercials are almost like you know those you know video game. There are those cinematic sequences, which are which I feel most times are like better than 90% of films out there when it comes to action set pieces. I mean, maybe because there's just more flexibility in terms of how they can move their character and where and how they can move. The camera within the scene, so I, I kind of see it that way with、uh, video game commercials, which which I love, and I would love to get to do more.、Um, I actually did one. My, my most recent project was actually a video game spot. So hopefully, this one, that one turns out well, so that I can get more of those. So yeah, fingers crossed. But um. Uh, so Marcus Walter has done quite a few, and I remember there was this really cool PlayStation spot that he did. But if you go through my category of、um, episodes, I've done quite a few PlayStation、um, PlayStation spots. So I've decided to choose another one of his, which is really cool. It's for Foot Locker. Let me just get my earphones ready. Let's get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and here we go. The cities are reeling as the meteor storm, zombie epidemic, and alien encounters continue unabated. Safe to say, this is the best week ever. So good, but even just creating this kind of apocalyptic、uh, zombie apocalyptic.、Uh, Uh, environment. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. I would love to do some zombie stuff, eh? Hell yeah! Not today. Eighty-six. Let me do some sixteen. I got you. Is it dead? That'll be. Oh. Look at the effects. Where you headed? You know it's the end of the world, right? Yeah, but it's the start of a week of greatness. This this last frame reminds me of.、Um, it's the best week ever. I think, yeah, that um, that last frame where the guy's walking on the highway reminds me of um. I think there was a there was a poster. Of、um, the Walking Dead, I think you guys know what I mean.、Um, yeah, this is actually. So mind you, this is actually the director's cut.、Um, yeah, this one's the director's cut, just because I would think that the director would want me to showcase his version.、Um, it, it's it's always like that with director's cuts,、um, even for myself. If there is a spot that I liked, and and I, if, if there is a spot that I that I liked, and I want to showcase it on my website, oh, and and I made a director's cut version, I would showcase the director's cut version for various reasons.、Um, from comparing the two, because I had seen the client version, which is not a huge difference, I think, but I think the main difference was the sound,、uh, the music. Uh, choice, and also for this last scene、um, in the original version, there was like this big octopus tentacle thing wrapped around one of the buildings afar back,、um, which I thought was kind of cool. But then it, it it's kind of,、um, but then I can maybe understand why he chose not to use that. Um, because it's it's a bit out of place with everything else that had happened. I mean, you see meteorites, you see zombies, but then all of a sudden you see this big, this big ass、um, monster tentacle thing wrapped around the building.、Uh, Marcus, if you do end up watching this video,、um, yeah, I feel it, it felt a little Men in Blackish. 
let's say. Yeah, it, that's what it kind of reminded me of the other version. Still very cool. And yeah, and I also preferred his choice of um, music as well for his version. I would love to see a behind the scenes, even like a, like how, how, how much input. Um, so, so Marcus, if you do get to see this, um, how much input did you have in this spot? From from the initial brief that you received, um, I'm just curious how different it ended up being, or how close it ended up being. Yeah, just even the effects wise, how they did this. If it was me, I mean, I'm looking at this last frame. If it was me, maybe. Oh, it's getting dark. So it's like uh, it's 6 p.m. now. You you probably notice that the and everything's reflecting off my glasses. Yeah, the, the sun's going down, so if you see like a light change, you'll, you'll know why. I'm getting a bit of a pink hue on my skin. Maybe it's better that I take my glasses off. Anyway, um, I would think they probably shot either this dude on a green screen, or they shot a piece of road which was empty and then pre-composed it in this shot because this shot i believe does not move just double checking no it's a still shot as in as in the camera doesn't move so maybe he was on a green screen then they placed him in this shot and then of course they added all the other textures and stuff like all the cracks and uh, also see on top there's like a bridge full of people zombies maybe that was also a separate plate and i see some uh, rubbish and stuff being blown on the side yeah i don't know but the mill is pretty damn good i mean they do some pretty impressive stuff buildings and stuff yeah i can i can i don't think that's um that's not something too complicated when it comes to like building destruction, like destruction of buildings and stuff. But yeah, pretty nice. And I love the the grade on this as well, that kind of desaturated post-apocalyptic look. Also love the meteorites um, shooting from behind where that guy's holding a kid. Yeah, it's insane. But, but yeah, the best part was um, after that initial introduction of the TV the, the news announcement and then you and then the camera tilts up and you get this you get this kind of cityscape of all the buildings being destroyed and there he is so there's a helicopter there as well nice touch and you get the awesome video right yeah man that, that's so cool the effects are so nice and I just I don't I'm just guessing here. It's either it's two shots combined into one, and then they created that motion blur to tilt up, or it was an actual shot, and then they were able to track it. That was most likely it, right? The second one where probably it was the the shot was tracked and then later done in post. Yeah, it's really interesting to to um, observe and try and figure out how things were done. Um, so yeah, you should check out uh, um, other other works from other works from Marcus. Uh, I will definitely leave a link to his Vimeo and his web. Um, I don't know if he has a website, but if he has a website as well, and his Instagram and stuff. So yeah, do go check out his work. There's a, there's another one he did for PlayStation and it's like this it's like this um, it's like this girl and she's like it's like this kind of sci-fi environment and she's yeah I mean just gotta check it out even I did a bit of a background research on him and apparently he, he he's um, he's done a feature film as well so I'll probably be checking that out you anyway, know I've got to finish this up soon so yeah um before i close off yeah tonight uh i'll be watching the northman i heard it was really 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 good so that's my movie for tonight friday night just stay home watch a movie the northman 
Um, yeah, because I've been binge watching Vikings for the past few days, and that's been really great. So um, I'll be pushing. I'll definitely be pushing out more YouTube content. So yeah. Um, again, for those of you who do check out this channel, um, huge thanks, and most importantly. Um, yeah, if, if you like what you saw today, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and please subscribe if you haven't yet done so. Check out my Instagram at aswa underscore hand. Check out my website, aswahan.com. Nick, what's happening with me? I'm putting together a passion project. I've been talking about this forever, but uh, yeah, it's been like a two year delay, but I'm working on that. I uh, can't say too much, but I'll definitely be updating you guys on that project and yeah if there's anything you guys have any questions about the film industry i'm more than happy to answer those questions so yeah um so i'll check you guys out in the next video